reading over the questions uh, my manager sent me. <laughs> wow. Okay. He sent you questions? Because I have no idea <laughs> what I'm asking. Well, he sent me something that you might want to talk about. Oh, I wish you well, would have sent me that. <laughs> just I'm always, I'm always prepared. I don't know where he got the information from. Maybe he just made it up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they were like, let's make up some questions that Fink might ask him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I greatly hilarious. appreciate right. your time. I know you got a lot going on right now. It's all right. Yeah. MK, welcome back to America's Dance 30. It's great seeing you again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm back again. <laughs> you are back again, and congratulations <laughs> on another number one with Take My Chance. Thank you, Thank you bro. Never expected that. Really? Expected. No, you know what? Because I've been I've been working on so much new stuff, and I, I don't really follow. Once my songs are out, I might have said this before, I don't really follow them too much because I don't, I, I don't want to be hung up on how was my song doing because right. I'm not in it for that. You know what I mean? So I just was moving on and he told me the other day, I'm like, what? I had, I had no uh, idea it was even in the charts. <laughs> oh, wow. You know? Really? Yeah. No idea. No idea. So I'm just curious, how far are you ahead? Like how many songs do you have banked right now? Uh, Four. Oh my God. Maybe four. Oh, my oh yeah. God. I have a lot. I have a lot coming out this year. I have a lot. I have, I have, uh, my next one is with Ty Dolla Sign. I saw that. I have one with Jesse Ware. Um, I have one with Vintage Culture. I have another one with Annabelle England. Um, I have one with Jazzy. <laughs> and, uh, and one with, uh, Eliza Rose. Wow. So 2024 is going to be the year of MK. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I've been talking to Dom about doing another one. So. It could be another uh, MK Dom Dollar record. And it's funny you bring that uh, up. I was actually yeah. going to ask you that later. When you're collabing with an artist and you have incredible yeah. success, do you guys talk about doing more music or is it usually just a one-off? Well, it's, no, it's usually, it depends who it is. You know, like if it's like kind of my, my more of my friends who I work with, like Dom and Sonny, yeah, we talk about it. Like Sonny and I, we talk about it all the time. So uh, Sonny and I, we're doing another one for sure. Um. And I, I just messaged Dom like a week ago. I said, hey, do you want to do another song? He said, yeah, why not? <laughs> it'd, be silly, it'd be silly not to. I'm like, you're right. It would be silly not to. And that's incredible that you're also going to be returning to Roots with Annabelle England as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she called me one day and she said, Mark, I have an idea. A song I wrote. Can I send it to you? And she said, I'm like, this is crazy. She said, do you want to do it with me? I'm like, yep. She sent me the parts, and I already, I pretty much finished it. I, just, I didn't send in the finished version yet, but it's pretty much done. Wow. Well, we'll talk yeah. all about that later, but I can't wait okay. to find okay. out about how Take My Chance was born, especially okay. since you've got some incredible powerhouses on the credits. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe who the vocalist was when I found out, but we'll talk about that yeah. coming yeah. up. Yeah. You know, we got to know you last time when Rhyme Dust went number one with Finky's Firsts. Now let's get to know MK a little better with Finky's Favorites. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is probably where your manager sent you questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before you get to that, the thing is, like, I don't listen to a lot of music other than when I'm DJing. I swear I don't like I just I because I DJ so much I produce so much so I don't like so a lot of people listen to music for enjoyment I don't I really don't unless I'm listening to like 80s you know 80s alternative that's my favorite genre I listen to that so I don't really have a song I put on like oh man this song is crazy I, it just doesn't happen well let me delete the first three <laughs> questions that I was gonna ask you here. <laughs> oh, wait, no 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 okay I can still answer some of the questions though but that one, I don't really have a favorite song I listen to right now. Now, you mentioned that you don't really like to listen to music when you're not producing and working. What What is one of your favorite things to do when you're not no, working? No, I, I, yeah, I, okay. I listen to music when I'm working and producing. I listen to other stuff all the time. Right. That's how I get inspired. Uh, oh, so you I'm, do listen I, to a lot of other stuff. Yeah, but not like not on purpose. I'll just kind of, I'll just search. I'll just dig. And, and. I won't dig by a name. I won't, I'll just kind of go through my promos. Or even if I go see someone on Instagram, I'm like, let me go to their page. And I look at, see what they play. And then I just go down a rabbit hole. Was it eighties that you mentioned was your favorite genre? Yeah. yeah I can listen to eighties all day long. Do you have a favorite song 80s? from the eighties? Um, 
anything about Depeche Mode. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, anything about Depeche Mode. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like Bonnie Tyler or like Turn. No, no I don't even think that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but you know, I sometimes I, I will listen to it if it comes on because it, it brings me back to when I was a teenager. Absolutely. Just listen to it like, oh, I remember I was at my dad's house, this song came on. So stuff like that. Well, this is going to be a question that a lot of people cop out when I ask because I okay. love finding out, you know, what an artist's favorite song of their own is. And almost okay. every time the artist goes, well, I can't really answer that because they're like my children. Yeah. And that's like picking a favorite. Right. I think that's a cop out because when right. I had two fur kids, I could tell yeah. you who my I could tell you my favorite child. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I can tell you my favorite song. Yeah. I made. Do you have a favorite MK song? Yeah, seventeen. Yes, with Carla Monroe. Yeah. yeah. So what makes it your favorite? I mean, I still play it today. It just it just it works. It's it's kind of it's kind of timeless, in my opinion. Um, I have cooler songs that I have, you know, if I say, hey, what's your coolest song you made? I'd probably say Burning. But my favorite is just 17. It's just the way it was put together. Yeah. The way it sounds sonically, everything kind of just, it just, it just fits perfectly together. Everything about it was great. Now, do yeah. you have yeah. a least favorite MK song? Oh, I have a lot. Oh, I have a lot. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God. Just name yeah, one. <laughs> it was a remix I did for, for RuPaul and Elton John. Don't go oh. breaking my heart. That's my least favorite. <laughs> Elton John called after I did. He said, Mark, this is not good. Oh, I'm you're like, kidding me. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Yeah. Yeah. He even said it wasn't good. I'm like, you're you're probably right. <laughs> like, but I'm, but I'm thinking like, I'm like, you and Paul was a bad idea anyway. So whatever. <laughs> so it was them. It wasn't you. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's why it was bad. You gave me sh to work with. <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So is it awkward between you and Elton now? <laughs> I haven't spoke to him since, but I mean, he won't, he won't remember. Obviously, he won't remember. Um, no, it's not. I mean, it happens, you know. That is hilarious. I, I've done remixes where labels come back and say, no, we don't like it. Can you do it again? Which, you know, the biggest one that was that got recalled was Nightcrawlers, Push Your Feeling On. No crap. Yeah. The first mix got turned down. Wow. Then I did the Double Doom because I used, I like the song. So I used all the vocals and had some piano in it and just kind of made it like a cool, like, so house song and they're like no and i was i was mad i'm like all right well you know what i'm not using any vocals then i'm gonna chop <laughs> You're the just doing up. a dub of it i'm doing a dub and dub and <laughs> becoming a banger but <laughs> unbelievable <yeah. laughs> well what is your least favorite thing about what you do about being in this industry and you better not say talking with brian fink <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never um just the, just the travel part it's weird because it's a hater it's a love hate thing i, I love I love traveling. I love, but sometimes you're just like, oh, I'm going to have to go get on a plane again. Right. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. to go get on a plane. Oh, man. You know, it's like that part is the, you know, I could do without. You know, it's 2024. You would think we could transport at this point or or click, yeah. our, click our heels three times and be where we need to be. <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm, I'm sure there'll be some holograms going on in the next five years. Though. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you have a favorite singer that you've worked with? Uh, I think Clem. Who's that? Clem. She's the one oh, who Clementine. didn't take my chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she's, she's my favorite right now. Just, and it's not so much that her vocals are like, like she's a great singer. She's a really good singer. Um, but that's not why. You know, she, she writes fantastic. Um, she uses her voice the right way. She doesn't over. She doesn't overdo it. She just knows exactly what to do. And as a producer, that's what you want as a vocalist. You don't want. I don't want to have to tell a vocalist what to do. I've been in sessions a lot of times where I've had to either vocal producer or bring in another vocal producer to get the vocals right. I, I like. I like her. She's a one. A one man shop. One yeah, woman she. Shop. She is such a powerhouse. I got turned on yeah. to her. I want to say. It was her song with Dom Dalla where she sounded amazing yeah. on, and I was like, "Miracle, Man, oh, he, miracle, or wait, saving up." Wait, is that her on? That's not her on saving up, is it? I, I think it is. Oh my god! Wow. No, he had another yeah. one with her that was like it, it had a very old school kind of renegade master sound to it. Anyway, oh, was that her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Miracle Maker, Miracle Maker, Miracle Maker, yeah, 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 that's what it was. Yeah. Sorry, when you just said Miracle, it didn't, it didn't hit. Yeah, yeah. Well, finally, in yeah. Finky's favorites, in honor of Take My Chance going number one, what is your favorite thing to take a chance on? 
Oh, uh, it was NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too soon. It was, it was NFTs. Um, my favorite thing to take a chance on is, is playing song, new songs that aren't out yet that I made. You know, test them out, see if they work. And then a lot of times they do work. Sometimes they don't work, but they, they never work. don't work in a way where like, oh God, get this off quick. Right. It doesn't work in a way like I'm not, the way I'm used to the crowds re- reacting to my songs. So if I play it and the crowd just kind of like, I'm like, okay, that's not, it's not ready yet. That's not the one. Well, let's talk about a song that has reacted amazingly. You know, I was blown away to find out that Clementine Douglas was on the vocals and yeah. that Jin Jin was a part of it as well. Yeah. And yeah. Camel Fat was also a part of it. Yeah. It, no, it was Mike from Camel Fat. And apparently Mike made this song a long time ago. Stop. A long, like it's been sitting around for years, years. And then I got it through... Depeche, the president of Sony, and he was like, Mark, this song is a smash. And I heard I'm like, oh, let me see what I can do with it. And so I started working on it and putting my variation to it because I, I like the fact I, I wanted to sound because the song was already pretty old. I'm like, I can make this sound very 90s. I can, you know, put the funky drummer loop in it, the tambourine and just kind of give it the whole old school vibe. And that's kind of what I went for. So how different <laughs> was your version from the original? The thing is, I don't remember because I had I had the song almost a year before it came out. Wow. So I've been, I've been sitting on it, working on it, and wasn't sure what to do with it and worked on it. Then the label had had uh, ideas for me to do and change. So we went back and forth for a while. And plus, I was touring at the time. So I, I didn't have a full set three days to just dive into the song. It was just like work on it, you know, for a couple hours before you get on a flight. And then also finish this other song or finish this remix. So it took a while to get it done and get it right. And then... I also find out the right time to put it out because I think Better was out at the time with Teddy Swims. I mean, we thought, like, let's get it out in the summer. It feels like a good summer song. And is Clementine not on the main listing because of her release schedule? Uh, no, she's, she's not really – she's never really bothered about that, about her name, you know, being a feature artist. So she's, she's cool with just writing it, getting her writing credit, getting her publishing, and she's good to go. That's awesome. Well, she is so amazing. Well, something I always love finding out, especially with you, is how many different versions there are of a song from <laughs> when you guys start working on it, all oh, the that, tweaking. That <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe 20. Oh, wow. And that's yeah, is 20. that just you, or is that also when Camel Fat started working on it? No, that's just me. That's wow. Me. Oh, man. Unbelievable. (laughs) Well, congratulations on another number one. I would say what's next for MK, but you already let us know how many songs you've got coming up. No, Obsession Obsession is the next one. It's like, that's probably my new favorite. Like, I'm, I'm excited for this one to come out. Cause, yeah, it, and guess who wrote it? Who wrote it? <laughs> Clem. Stop! And is that the one with Ty yeah. Dollar Sign? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I saw the yeah. video that you posted. It yeah. sounds like a smash yeah. already. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got more of a Deep House vibe. It's not It's not like you don't put it on and be like, oh, my God. It's, just, it's, it's like a Deep House banger. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the full mastered version of it. Congratulations yeah. Yeah. on that. Thank Congratulations you. on another Thank number you. one. Can't wait for 2024 to be the year of MK. Thank you so much for your time with us on America's Dance 30. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anytime. Anytime. Were there any questions that your manager gave you that I didn't ask? (laughs) Oh, favorite favorite producer. Oh, who's your favorite producer? (laughs) (laughs) Mal P, dude. Mal P. Yeah, he's sick. All day. He's, 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 he's. Like, I'm very impressed with him. Very, very impressed. And I don't get impressed easy by producers. But with him, I'm very impressed. Is there going to be an MK, Mal P collab? We haven't even, we haven't talked about it, but who knows? But yeah, Who knows? He's, 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 he's very, very talented. Dude, I know that you've got a lot of stuff going on. So thank you so much for your time. All right. my, my pleasure.